All right, thank you for tuning in, everybody. We are live here at the 35th annual International Racquetball Junior World Championships. I will be joined here momentarily by Gary Mazaroff. First up here, we have the girls 10 and under, Mexico versus Bolivia. See a quick side out here. And it is five serving one. This Good morning, Gary. Great to be here back in the capital of Guatemala, Guatemala City. First of many stream matches today, all and throughout the week, we'll be conclude the tournament this Saturday. World Juniors under the IRF flag, number 33. 30? 33rd Junior World Championships. Well, okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll verify that. Our producer says 35, we were told 33, so maybe we'll just compromise and call it 34. How's that? Perfect. Bottom line is we're here. Girls 10 and under. Bolivia and Mexico, Mexico serving. Good time out there, Alexis. It was 0-5 and now it's 3-5. Backhand winner left side. Championship court here at Domo Centro Deportivo. Beautiful facility. We were here last year for the adults and the juniors. Ball down. Young lady from Bolivia is from Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Young lady from Mexico from Chihuahua City in Mexico, close to the frontera with the United States. Referee is Luis Perez from Guatemala City. Alexis and I will be joined by our friend and colleague a little bit later, Gustavo Farrell. Thank you to Pablo Farge for being our producer and setting everything up for us. Great lob serve, deep left corner, uncontested by the Bolivian. She does it again. So the first game is complete. 11 to four in favor of Gomez from Mexico and we'll be back here in Guatemala City. And we're back, it's Gary Mazarov, Lexus Iwasa. We're here in Guatemala City, La Capital, city of about a million, but the metro area 
depending on with whom you speak, it could be up to 8 million. Tremendous traffic jams here. But uh, if you can walk, it's pretty, pretty handy. Many, many good restaurants here, Alexis. And uh, you created your own fair last night. You had your uh, Champignon burger. I did, it was fantastic. Yeah. Might have to get it again tonight. Indeed. So Bolivia is serving. She's down zero to one in games. It's the best of five. Each game is to 11 points. Rally scoring, win by two for those of you not uh, versed on the more recent change of the IRF rules. Each player is entitled to one time out of one minute in length each game. The break is two minutes between games. And when there are appeals allowed, uh, they get two non-rejected appeals, if you will. So we're here in game two. This is the fourth day of competition. Check the score here. Two serving, one. Bolivia serving. Whoa, should be avoidable hinder call. Point scored and serve earned, Alexis. So it's 2-2, game number two. 3-2. Gomez coached by quality player in and of himself, uh, Enrique Esparza from Chihuahua. Mexican coach, he also coached Nicaragua for a couple years. Looks like she invaded, encroached that safety zone. The ball has to bounce before she enters that zone or it has to clear the, the dotted line, which is the receiving line, and she invaded it, so it's a point for the server. Meanwhile, young Mexican lady on a roll here, 7-2, game number two. Mexico and Bolivia by week's end will probably be vying for the title in both the Esprit Cup and the World Cup. Esprit includes 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds and 14-year-olds. World Cup, 21, 18, and 16. So we have a break on the court here. We'll stay with you. Thank you for tuning in. Internationalracquetball.com. You go to the International Racquetball, bring it up, Facebook or YouTube. Next up on this uh, championship court will be Argentina versus Guatemala. Doubles. Kouf. Okay, probably 12 doubles. Kufre and Acuna, Argentina versus the hometown heroes from Guatemala, Lopez and Aldana. So as we resume play, Alexis, the young Mexican Gomez serving to young Bolivian Paez. Gomez won 11-4 game one and has an 8-2 lead in game two. Uh, winner, quality time out there. She doesn't have another one left before this game. And again, one timeout per game per player. Jam serve. 
Oh, ball down. So Gomez comes in, earns the serve, and gets a point. Rally scoring 9-3, two points from game. Great pass shot. Paya serving. 4-9. So now it's game point number one in game two for Gomez. And she cashes in. Game two has been completed. When we return for the third game, it'll be Mexico up two games to zero. Take it away. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my original My Slippers are back in stock. Last Christmas, you made them the number one selling My Pillow product, and now I've added smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new colors. And with your promo code, you still save $90 a pair. What makes my slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not gonna find in any other slippers. My slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help relieve stress on your feet. Wear them anytime, anywhere. You'll absolutely love my slippers and I'm extending my 60 day money back guarantee until March 1st, 2023, making them the best Christmas gifts ever. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90 on my original My Slippers. That's only $49.98 a pair. Quantities won't last long, so please order now. We're back live here in Guatemala City. Gary Mazaroff, Alexis Iwasa, Pablo Farre will be joined by Gustavo Farrell. Uh, another couple hours. This is game three, best of five, rally scoring. First to 11, win by two. Mexico up two games to zero. Thank you to Osvaldo Maggi of the International Racquetball Federation and his staff. Thank you to the local organizing committee headed by Dr. Estuardo Ware, president of the Guatemalan Association. Joined by Ernie Escobar and Marie Gomar. Bolivia serving. Pius up top, Gomez. Great ceiling ball deep into that vidrio, that gla back glass. Mexico couldn't handle it. So it's a good start on this game for Boliv uh, Bolivia. She's down two games to zero, it's 3-1. Another setup. Didn't read it, got fooled by that bounce. 2-3, half lob. Those of you new to the game of racquetball, thank you for tuning in. We'll try and verse you on many of the basic rules of the game. Serve is initiated with the drop. It has to drop once on the floor. The first wall at the Ball has to hit is the front wall. After that, it may hit either side wall before it bounces. That's called a pass shot with that backhand stroke. So Mexico now has forged ahead. It's down 1-3, now it's 5-3. Great pass by Bolivia. Don't count her out. Santa Cruz de la Sierra, that was the site of the IRF World Championships back in August this year. Mexico. That's a kill shot with the forehand stroke left side. 
Ball takes two bounces after it strikes the front wall up front. Okay, that ball did not clear that middle line, which is called the short line, so it's a short serve like tennis, you get a second serve. All surfaces on the court are in play. If the ball leaves the court above the back wall, which is 12 feet, it's out of play. If the ball bounces and clears, then it's a replay. Ball live. Another point for Mexico. Eight. Ocho cuatro, eight four. Wallpaper ball, in this case, along the glass. Nine four, two points from the match. Second serve. She invaded again in Vacion. Point for the server, match point number one, 10-4. Set up, Mexico put away. Three games to zero in favor of Gomez from, oh, he called a skip, sorry. I get a mulligan. Sure looked like it was a good shot, Alexis. Yeah, I thought it was. But then again, Senor Perez is the ref, we are not. That's called a doble falta, double fault, she loses. <laughs> The game on a double fault. Gomez over Paez. Gomez from Mexico over Paez, Bolivia. Three games to zero. We'll be back with boys doubles, Argentina versus Guatemala. Stay tuned, you're on the IRF network. This is Gary with Alexis.